October 3rd, 2009. On that day in the Battle of Kam Desh, Bravo Troop 361 became the most decorated unit of the Afghanistan war, including two men who received the Medal of Honor. And it should be a day that every American knows. It should be a part of American history. The story of the outpost is important because it actually happened. American service members were placed in the worst tactical position possible. The real Garden of Eden. Got it. Shit, man. They were asked to defend an outpost that could not be defended. And they did it. Somehow they, they did it, and they did it for a very long time. It's men trapped in this really isolated place where it's very hard for anybody to get to them. It's almost like they're on an alien planet somewhere. Rod's intention was to make the film as accurate as possible and not glorify anything, whether that's the actors or the sets or the wardrobe. And I needed veterans in this film. I need veterans to play the soldiers. We had all those first-hand eyewitnesses that were invaluable to get to the bottom of the very similitude and the accuracy of the battle. When I first arrived on set, it brought it back a lot of memories, but they were clouded and flickered. Definitely the emotions were there and an eerie, kind of off-putting feeling. It was like walking into a memory. You know, I mean, I slept over there um, for a year of my life, a very important year. Being on a set in an environment that's so realistic, it's, it's very nostalgic. And to be able to play myself, I'm very grateful that I'm still alive and it's almost an obligation, I feel, to, to bring authenticity to this film. Having these guys here telling us what was real and what is close, but if we shifted this, it would be more accurate, has been, has been incredible. I had to continue to remind myself that this wasn't in Afghanistan. Rod described how he wanted to make this film, moving away from a sort of glamorous view of war into a much more realistic sort of documentary feel. I decided to do something risky in this film, and, and that was that I was going to shoot as many scenes as possible, especially in the battle, in one shot. And Lorenzo really knows how to design the shot so that in the one you still get your wide, medium, and close up. At the end, it really gets the audience connected to what's happening and connected more with the characters. To be inside of a shot that doesn't cut, that doesn't let you breathe. Ready's coming in! And that's the way combat can feel. And it's not easy to do. So when you can actually do it and do it right, there's nothing short of amazing. I actually became emotional because it reminded me of how I felt on that day at that time. Everything feels very important no matter what your part is in the scene. It is interesting. I've never made a movie quite like this. Rod, he wanted to really portray these guys not as superheroes, but just showing that normal guys would saddle up and do extraordinary things. That's another thing that was great. Rod's a veteran. You sensed a lot of experience from him, not a lot of Warning shot! panic. You know, and this is, there's a lot of panic on it. There's machine gun fired, there's bullets flying, there's guys running. You have to be focused, you have to know what you're doing. Everyone has to work together in unison. This has just been sort of like fun to recreate this thing together. You start to feel like a little platoon. I think this film is gonna be so much more than just a Hollywood picture. You take a lot of pain and suffering that happened and you turn it into art. the story is told at all doesn't just tell the story of our soldiers on this day at Cop Keating, but the story of soldiers across time and battles. We're coming in! Make way! Make way! It's 
movie is almost like a, a tribute, but it's also an education for the world of what happened here on that day. Hey, Red Platoon! I need volunteers. We're taking this bitch back. <laughs> 